How's everybody doing? I got a special episode today. It's actually the opening day of venomous snake season in Pennsylvania, so I'm out with Tara, T-Bone, and Darren. You'll, I'll introduce them later. They're over this way. But we're uh, out and about checking for rattlesnakes, so hopefully we see we have one so far. We found it's kind of cold still, so we're waiting for it to warm up, but hopefully as it warms up throughout the day, we're going to find a whole bunch, so they're going to do some different things with them, and you guys will get to see that, so stay tuned. Another female. That's most rattles, though. That is a lot of rattles. That's a female, though, ain't it? I think that is a lot of rattles. That looks like a female to me. Oh. Gotta be a female. Ain't it? Yeah. That's a young male, that's for sure. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't like the male. I think it's only 12 rattles. He ain't big enough, so I don't want to fit with him either. It might be a male, but that's a young one. That's only 40, 43, 44. You ain't big enough either, T-Bone. Yeah. What'd I say? 12 rattles, I think. If you need anything, go. Do you, I was just going to say that. That's what? SFD, snake fungal disease. Oh. 12 rattles. 12 and a button. Yeah. He's just trying to get away. Probably bigger than the one I have. <laughs> Maybe. That's a really nice snake. Fat too. Yeah. 
Yeah. I say 21, maybe 22. What is his eyes milky? Holy shit. He's got skin here. Yeah, I did that. You're gonna be beautiful. You're gonna be a very handsome boy. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. Yeah. Do you wanna see this? I got one, people. So, this is how you determine the sex of the snake versus actually opening them up and examining just because it can cause damage. But, um,. 21 or more of these subcaudals indicates that the snake is a male 95% of the time. Um, so you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I count 23 plus fringe, so this snake would be considered a male. Okay. Very pretty. It's going to be 47, 48. going to shed here. It's going to be very handsome boy. And then you can see his eyes are milky there. Yeah. So whenever he sheds that, we'll clear up. Like that. Yep. He's 47 feet long. Yeah. At least. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Get the kinks out of him a little bit up there. Yep. He might be 48. He's a big snake. I, I, I ain't in a button. Sorry for this, buddy. I'll probably helped him out, if anything. Maybe. <laughs> I can't believe he ain't farther shedding for yeah. how white his eyes are. Did you get a good footage of him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's bigger than the other one. Yeah. He's 46 or 47. You got a faded spot. Bleeding. Yeah, a little bit. He's I saw that when we got here. Yeah. Let's take him down the grass. Yep. He's probably 47 of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got him, Terry? Yeah, he's fine. Just make sure, Tara. Fine. You want to do it here? Or you want to do it down somewhere else? We'll take him in the shade. Yeah. He's worked up. He is a nice guy, snake. Yeah. Uh, he's T-bone, he's 49. I'm yeah. 40. 40. 40. You're an old man. Yep. You're an old man. Oh, look how pretty he's gonna be. Yeah. 
you got tape measure, Dennis? He's 47. I get, I'll get the front. Yeah. No, it looks like somebody marked them. He's got an orange dot on him. Right there. Right here. Yeah, he does. Hold on. That might, you might have already been turned into a snake hunt or something like that. See it? Right here. Yeah. Yeah, he is marked orange. Yep. Is that something dot. they do there? Yeah. Yeah, they put paint them with fingernail polish. They usually do it more up towards the tail, though. Or up towards the head. Yeah. Oh, poor sweetie. There's a skin. Yeah, I saw that back there. there. Where's your big brother? I stopped recording that snake accidentally uh, what we ended up doing was we just let that snake go after doing some counting on the subcaudal scales and rattles and stuff like that so that was pretty cool um, all the snakes you saw were released and not harmed or anything they were released right back to where they came from so it was a cool day out in the field I hope you enjoyed the video it's a little different than fishing but I like the outdoors so it was a pretty cool experience and I'm probably gonna be doing it more this summer so Appreciate you watching the video, and uh, thanks again.